Hey everyone, we are here again. We took a small break um, and as we promised you, we're going to continue coming and just having casual conversations about supervision, about what is it that we're learning as supervisors, um, what is it that we learn in the process of being supervised. And what is it that we want to share with all of you? Um, if you have ideas, reach out to any of us um, and let us know. But today, Alex, do you want to say what we're talking about today? Yes, we're talking. We're going to be talking about knowing your worth, especially um, as a therapist, as a professional, when you are launching trainings, consulting. What do I charge? What's what's the fee that I look at? What is it? Where do I, how do I determine how much um, my fee is per service, whether it's training, consulting, or working with individuals for business development? Mm -hmm. So, so we're going to be talking about that um, and our experience with with it as well. But yeah, how did you get us started? It's okay. So for me, this is a weird feeling. So all of us, um, the three of us, we're at about the same place professionally. We've all been doing this about 10-ish, you know, years. So for me, it's a um it's a surprising feeling because this is how I felt when I first started out as a therapist and I was thinking, well, first I thought that I was God's gift of therapy. I think we've talked about <laughs> that. But then when I got knocked off my pedestal, um, then I was like, well, why would anybody want to pay that much to talk to me? Right? Like, what do I really have to offer? And um, I'm kind of surprised that I, I know this feeling now because I'm feeling it again, as I start to pivot more towards consulting and training and you know, what, what do I charge? What, what is a reasonable fee? I don't want um, people to, I don't know, fill in the blank. I'm not sure what I think they're going to do. Um, be mad at me or not like me or think, oh my gosh, who does she think she is? Um, you know, all of those, all of those things. And, um, you know, kind of where is that coming from and why, 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 why am I going through this again? Why, why are we doing this? So so what we were saying is this is developmental. It happens to all of us and it comes in cycles and, and it's completely okay, right? It's a moment to pause, um, especially if you are in private practice. Um, what is it? What are my expenses? What What is it that I need to do? What's around me? So there's quite a bit of homework that we have to do in order to say this is what, what this is the standard um, in order to keep up and value our field. But even if you're working for someone and you have employees and if you um, if you have, you know, con contractors, whatever it is, um, how do you know what you're worth? We all have the same foundation. Mm -hmm. All of us went and have a master's program. Mm -hmm. All of us are working either towards licensure, but same foundation or a license or assistant therapist. But we all have the same foundation. Can we like highlight that piece? What makes us apart is the trainings, the ongoing trainings that we're doing. Those extra credentials that you follow. But foundation is the same. And then is what, how are you investing in yourself Correct. in order to set you apart, in order to say, fill in the blank, um, I deserve this because of this. I was going to cuss, but I was like, I'm going to be professional today. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. and, we, and we have to take in consideration, like, like Liliana said, the research we've done, the study we've done, our hours and time invested in our trainings, in our extended, you know, our certifications, the, the hard work we put in preparing our material and organizing it, it takes time and energy. And so if we were to put, quantify that, um, it really does make sense. And so when you get invitations to consult, to train, to present, you have to take into consideration travel, um, you know, the preparation, um, the research, all of that has to be put into, um, into consideration and um, establish your feet at a place where you feel that it's comfortable and it covers all bases. Mm -hmm. So even as yeah. a therapist, right? Even if you're working just as a therapist, um, Jen has an agency. Um, uh, Alex and I just do consultations um, for now. Um, Alex recently pivoted. Um, yeah. But even when we're talking with colleagues or when we're talking with supervisees, consultees, when we're talking with employees, is 
How do we help you so that we can start the conversation of what's your worth? Do you know your worth? Mm -hmm. What is it about you that sets you apart? There's lots of therapists. I love um, when Brenna Brown comes to Colorado and she has been here in a while, but last time that she was here, she's like, this is the state that has the most therapists nationwide. So in my mind, I was like, or oh, we like Starbucks in every corner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if we take that analogy, what sets me apart? Mm -hmm. What's my specialty? And even when you set up a fee, um, are you working with the population? Do not devalue. But this is where, again, uh, we were just talking early about the conditioning that we got in our school in regards to we're here to serve, to serve mm -hmm. others. And then we feel guilty for right. charging for no shows, like cancellations, or even setting up our fee or raising our fee. Right. Um, so how, how do we have these conversations openly, openly so that we can humanize ourselves? Because you still have to make a living. Mm -hmm. Know your worth right um this is what i keep learning in the conversations that the three of us keep having not your worth and then if if it, if you are a therapist you know you have other options such as offering sliding scale right you can use pro bono cases but it doesn't mean that you have to be being resentful to go to work because you're not making a living because you have to take a large caseload in order just to pay your bills yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Piece here that I want to bring up is that um, <clears throat> you have to take into consideration when you set a fee um, and you do more research and you update, you have the right to modify your fee. Yeah. That makes sense. If you've gained more experience or you've got, let's say you went to a conference and you're able to modify your fee because you got certified or because you learned more and you've enriched the process or it's no longer a uh, 90 minute um presentation um it's now two hours you know or it's going to have to be like a three hours that means there needs to be a modification to the fee as well don't feel bad know your worth and execute it yeah 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 i know too that this is again we've talked about why consultation is so important and finding your crew um, because these are conversations we have all the time. There's not a time that we talk about this where someone's not calling me out. Uh, nope, let's reframe that. No, nope, what about this? <laughs> I mean, it happened like 10 minutes ago. So, I mean, this is why it's important to, you know, this is like Liliana said it. That's why it's important for us to be having these conversations and yeah. bring it out into the open. And this is kind of what we're trying to do here for you all is, you know, give you a little bit of an inside glimpse of when we are having these conversations. Um, and, and again, we've, we've talked about this in some form before, but everything that you see online, everything that we're posting, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes of that. There's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of conversations. There's a lot of, you know, um, research. Um, we all own businesses. And again, we're not new to owning businesses at this point. So that's a lot of like mostly self-taught um, trial by fire. What we learned about like, what is a market rate? What is the return on investment? What is a, you know, all these things that we needed to learn, but that's why we have each other to talk about it and why we kind of wanted to bring it out to you too. So I love that. So even that was part of the conversation, right? Um, Monday when we got together. So yeah. all of you saw, if you follow us, all of you saw the picture that Alex posted about us. Yeah. Um, but, um, and it is true, it was recharging. That's what we did. We got together in order to build each other up, to validate each other up, to normalize the fears that are coming up to talk about the fears of the pivots that we're taking, but to support each other. This is the cool thing about your circle. You support each other. You tell the truth, even when we don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, and and yeah. then we talk about these things such as fees. Mm -hmm. What do we do with these things? We, we talk about how hard it is still to go to consultation or supervision and talk about um, feeling less competent today. Mm -hmm. We all have it. So as supervisors, we want to normalize this for you. It happens. It was a picture that we took that captured a moment. We were like, ah. but before that, oh, crap. 
There was a lot of calling out. There was a lot of reframing. There was a lot of, and, and, you know, they're supporting each other and there's challenging each other too. I'm going to have to buy a really expensive dinner if I don't get my shit together. So there's stuff like that. Oh, I, you and I. <laughs> I crossed over the professional line. So, um, yes, um, you know, that, that, that's all part of it, but it's, it's a necessary part for us to be able to grow and for us to be able to, um, talk about how, um, I guess like our impact and um, also just the impact of, I don't even really know how to phrase it, our perceived what we think everybody else is going to think. Yeah. So as we have to wrap up in a minute or two, um, what will be one takeaway that you want supervisees to take from this video today? If you do not know your fee or rate um, and you're a little hesitant, consult with a seasoned, uh, a seasoned professional. Consult with, and um, there's a, a formula that uh, each one has. And I think whatever feels right with you, um, uh, go with it, but do not undersell yourself. But I would say consult. Consult with a professional, pick your brain. Because if you're, let's say you, you just finished and you want to charge 225, and you have no degree and you're like, wait, what, what, what's going on here? Or so let's say you, you don't, you, and you're like, wait a minute, this is your you consult with someone who's like, wait a minute, what do you have to offer? And you're struggling and stumbling. That's going to be an issue because you, you need to have some experience to, to be able to provide uh, or to uh, give a rate that is feasible for individuals. Um, to, so just, so I would say consult, if in doubt, check it out, consult. Yeah. And also remember that your experience and your knowledge, I think that we all got into this field for a reason. We all have, um, I think there's a certain kind of personality and, you know, persona or whatever that draws people to be therapists. Um, so even if the knowledge that you have feels second nature to you and it feels obvious and it feels like, of course, well, why would anyone pay me to talk about this? They like, they already know this. They don't. We know it because we've trained and this is our world and we live and breathe all of this stuff. It's the same thing if you got me up and wanted me to talk about um, drilling an oil well. I don't know. I have no idea. So, um, you know, like know your worth, like do talk about what is your experience level and don't sell yourself short because it feels like common knowledge and common sense to you. It probably isn't to your audience. And that is why they've come to you to ask you to teach them that. And what I will say is all of us as therapists have the same foundation. So start paying attention to what sets you apart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so until next one um thank you for being here and again if you have any ideas of something that you want us to talk about um reach out to any of us bye bye, bye. bye.